making a pyramid style bridge here starting off with a router jig that I used to get a nice straight cut and keep the sides parallel on this ebony blank which I've already planed to thickness you can see that it just runs against the bearing on this pattern making bit which I did not turn on for this demonstration Accuracy is obviously very important when you're setting up a bridge, so I'm using uh, precision measuring equipment and checking and rechecking my marks before I drill or route anything. This is a Stuart McDonald string spacing rule, which I think is one of their more useful products. I use it quite a lot when I'm setting up nuts or, in this case, marking out for bridge pinholes. The bridge I'm making is not a direct copy of the Martin design, but quite similar. It's uh, an inch and an eighth, which is slightly wider than the ones that they were doing in the 20s and 30s because it's a steel string instrument and I want just a bit more insurance to make sure the bridge stays on there. Using a brad awl here just to give myself some center points before I drill the holes out on the drill press. Now this is a very useful trick, so pay attention. I've got some masking tape that I've put on both the bottom of the bridge and the jig that I'll be using to route the saddle slot and I'm using super glue to stick the two of them directly together and this works really well if you've got small parts or things that don't really lend themselves to being clamped but have to be held together very firmly and it's easily removable the laminate trimmer is a very snug fit in the tray and that allows me to pivot the bit down into the wood and sneak up on the full depth of cut without having to mess around with the adjustment mechanism on the router because that almost always ends up in disaster you end up with a stepped cut or the slot is too wide because the bit is almost never completely concentric in the housing you see the pieces of tape there just give me a, a visual clue as to where the end of the slot should be and I go back and forth and it's uh, as simple as that let the bit stop before you uh, remove the router To separate the two pieces, I just get in there with a pallet knife, and away you go. Over at the drill press here, I'm using a half-inch Forstner bit to drill out the trough, which separates the main body of the bridge from the wing. I've slowed down the speed, and I'm progressing very slowly in the cut, because this is ebony after all, and uh, if I jam it down there too fast, it has a tendency to make the bit wander. And here's the result, a nice little channel. Next we have another router jig here that holds the body of the bridge at the correct angle for routing the wings. I know, but that clamp in reality is nowhere near the bit. It's just an optical illusion caused by the foreshortening of the camera, and I'm being careful. So a succession of very light passes removes the material from both sides of the bridge. And then I'll flip it over and do the other side. Which gives me this. I have that nice little ridge line which is perfectly centered. I'll use a wide chisel to cut the triangular facet on the end of the bridge wing. And a lot of elbow grease because the ebony cuts like stone trying to keep it all in a single plane. After the chisel I'll go on to using small files and scraper and try to make it as geometrically perfect as I can. I'll use a scraper to refine the shape, add some radiuses and some curves and lend it some sex appeal. And then after that it's just a whole lot of sanding. Ending up with this, this is micro mesh abrasive pad and this ebony is so close grained that when you get up into the six or eight thousand grit range it almost looks like it's got a finish on it already finally we have the finished product here the only thing that's left to do is to scrape a slight radius on the bottom of the bridge that will match the face of the guitar before it's glued on the bridge pin holes will be reamed out slightly and the string slots will be enlarged for the individual diameters of the strings when it comes time for setup Thanks very much for watching.